Hello my creative friends, Olga Sobi here and today's experiment is requested by you. So you know that lately I have been working a lot with this ready mix pouring paint by Artist Loft and I got a lot of questions from you about can this paint or can't work when mixed with other mediums or with fluid troll, etc. Well today I'm gonna try and do a little experiment to find it out. So I have four colors of Artist Loft mixed paint and four of sort of the same colors mixed with floor troll and water. They're not exactly the same colors, not exactly the same pigments, but kind of sort of close enough. So I'm gonna mix each color with each one. Anyway, so black with black and so on. Half and half, so half Artist Loft mixed, ready mixed pouring paint half the same color mixed with fluid draw and water and I'll try to do ring pour and flip cup and see how that works see if I'm gonna get any uh, cells with the uh, flip cup because fluid troll does create some cells even without silicone and I want to see if with ring pour I'm gonna be able to keep the shapes of the rings and things like that and I have very crazy color combination today so there's orange red yellow and black like, I love bright colors, but even for me, this is too much. Like, this color combination, normally I would not go for it, but I have no other colors left from this ready mix pouring paint because the shelves of uh, local Michaels are empty. They're always out of stock when it comes to uh, this paint. It's very hard to buy it. So, okay, I'm gonna start by pouring some paint by Artist Love first. And then I will mix in the my floor troll mixture in it. If you pre-mix in your colors with floor troll, it's very good to give it a shake before using. So I'm gonna do a uh, ring pour first. So here I'm gonna add my colors on the side. Um, I'll just go from light to dark. getting a lot of small bubbles when torching because when torching just artist love mixture you don't get those little things but the portal does the work transparency that's from this paint you see there is a black under the yellow and usually when working just with floral mixture you don't get as much of this effect so that's pretty cool so far I would say that this paint has uh, this mixture has no problem holding the shape of the rings. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop with this one. Yeah, touch up the sides just a little. But so far, it's actually pretty cool. I like it. I have a lot of air bubbles though. Maybe it's from mixing, I don't know. Probably from shaking my virtual bottles too. Okay. I'm gonna put this away and go to the next one. So next I'm gonna do a flip cup and I'm gonna layer my colors in a cup in the same order. 
so that the yellow ends up on top. Because I think yellow would be the most transparent too out of this entire color selection. Alright, gonna let it sit for a few secs. Oh man, this cup looks really cool inside. Can you see it? the sides of the cup? That's really cool. Wow, I like it. Okay, let's flip this one. Ta -da! Okay. So part of the yellow has synced. I feel like I'm gonna do a couple of ribbons here. It's so beautiful. So the yellow has synced a little while the cup was upside down. This actually looks kind of cool so far, and I did not really expect it. Okay, this looks really interesting. And the uh, black and yellow have overmixed a little and they create sort of like a greenish, muddy greenish color, which I hate normally, but it does look good in this composition. I feel like I want to add just a little orange along this edge to help it stretch little because I really like all this movement. I don't want to lose too much of it. Okay, now I don't like this orange corner. Man. This needs to be black. I think this is really cool. Wow. I'm impressed. Really good. So, I'm pretty impressed with the two canvases that I did. Of course, need to see how they dry, but those colors are so burning hot. I think I want to try to do one more thing. I've seen Molly from Molly's Artistry did it on her channel. She did a flame Dutch pour and check her out. She's really awesome. So I want to try and do that too. I think I'm going to add a little bit more black to my mixture and also to, just to my black color. Also, I'm going to add a little bit of white because for Dutch pour, you do want your colors especially the base color to be more fluid because I still have a little bit of all those colors left so that might work just great I hope I have enough black might be a little not enough not sure I think I want to do like three puddles of paint. And let's see how that works. I am very excited to see. question is, does it look like flame or it looks more like, I don't know, like a flower or something? I 
I think I'm gonna get this moving just a little. Well, it doesn't look really like a flame, but I still kind of like it. I think it's kind of cool. So now let's see how everything dries. All right, so there we have them dry. I have to say that this result is beyond my expectations. I kind of were hesitating how this paint would work with Floor Troll and this is really, really cool. So first of all, paint has dried a little glossy not as matte as just floral mixture which is nice i mean it's not the most important part for me because i varnished resin all of my pieces but this is still good and uh the combination of floral and this pouring paint created take i would say it took it took best parts of both so it took transparency and a little bit of glossiness from the artist love pouring paint like you can see a lot of transparency here the black is popping through the yellow and there is also a lot of transparency here in this layer, so you can see exactly how it's flowing, and I really like that part. And it also got uh, cells from Floor Troll, but not too much, like you see here in Dutch Pour. I'm gonna show it against the light. The cells and lacing are really nice. And some cells on the bottom here, out of the three. This would be my favorite. I really like this flow. Very unusual composition for me, but it's so beautiful. And I also really like this flame. It's so cool. I think it would look amazing with resin. Probably should cover it. And this result is also very nice. So yeah, that's what I have. Let me know how you like my result and also let me know which one is your favorite. Which one out of the three? And by the way, in the next video, I'm going to be doing an uh, experiment with silicone versus no silicone mixture to see the difference in results. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure you are subscribed to this channel and turn that notification on so you don't miss any new updates. Any new updates, yeah. <laughs> any updates. All right, you guys, have a nice day. Happy pouring. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.